We're standing at the Gus Pearson Natural Area, which is on the Fort Valley Experimental Forest. This is a really important site because we have research that's been ongoing here since 1995 that examines different restoration approaches and how forests can be restored in order to make them fireproof. The problem in, in northern Arizona has been uh, about 100 years of fire exclusion has actually made more trees per acre out here than what this, the natural range of variability for, the, for ponderosa pine forests are. Pre-European settlement, about 25 to 110 trees per acre on average across the whole Mogollon Rim, basically from the Grand Canyon to the New Mexico border, we're at uh, about 400 to 1,000 trees per acre. And essentially what has happened is those forests now are unhealthy from the perspective of there's just too much wood, there's too much understory. And with that understory creates a fuel load that's such that you just can't get a handle on a fire. So these fires, instead of ground fires, low intensity fires that historically had occurred in the forest, today what we're seeing are these high intensity fires that are no longer on the ground, but essentially these smaller trees act as ladder fuel and these fires get up into the crowns of these forests and essentially take out the entire forest. Leadership has been so important in making large projects like this move forward. And one of the things that's really advanced projects like the Four Forest Restoration Initiative is field trips, getting people out in the woods and showing them what the consequences are of inaction uh, or of, of taking science-informed, kind of best available science action on the land. And the results are startling. When you put in uh, restoration treatments, you, within the next years, these old trees, some of which are five, six hundred years old, which have been on death's doorstep, start growing like teenagers. The original intent of when those forests were created in the late 1800s was to protect the water supply. And the Salt River Project has a 13,000 square mile watershed that encompasses a large part of central Arizona. What is unique and significant about this collaborative are the wide variety of interests that are participating in the Four Forest Restoration Initiative. You have the environmental groups, you have forest products industry, you have the scientists and the experts, and then you have the federal government and the Forest Service all working together to develop what these thinning projects will look like. Most people think of SRP as an agricultural water provider, or they even think of us only as a power company. But SRP began as a water company, and that's really the heritage of the Salt River Project, is its water heritage and its water background. Without that water, you wouldn't see the economic development that occurred here in the valley. I will say that I think there are incredible challenges facing the state from a broader environmental perspective, from a water perspective, from a, from a forest health perspective. Our state, among many others, is, is facing incredible challenges. I've grown up in this state. I love living in this state for many reasons. One of the reasons I love living here is that folks have an independent spirit and are willing to cross uh, traditional boundaries to find solutions to tough problems. And so I find myself incredibly optimistic uh, that folks in Arizona bring their best and, and bring their best creativity and, and vision uh, and passion um, to find common solutions to these, to these problems across the state.